Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about how will you set up wildcard subdomain on your WordPress website. So here you can see this is our WordPress website hrweb.in and in this video we are using hosting or web hosting services which is very fast and reliable. Also you can get 15% discount by using our coupon code. So this is our main domain and this is the WP admin. So you have to log in, in your WP admin. So let me just log out and log in again. So here is the WP admin. So you have to install a plugin. Let me show you. You have to go plugins in the menu bar and add new plugin. And from here you have to uh, select okay first uh, check the plugin you have to select the upload plugin option or upload plugin page so here you need to drop this plugin you can get the link in description to download this plugin this is the plugin named main direct uh, main category into subdomain so this plugin will convert your directory your post directory into subdomain automatically by using wildcard setup so here you need to activate the plugin so this is the plugin main category as subdomain and the plugin is activated here is a notice that main category as subdomain plugin is in testing mode so you have to go to menu in settings subdomain settings open it and here you can see we detect uh, you have you haven't set wildcard subdomain in your host please find this uh, follow this instruction so we are just opening this instruction in new page also the normal sitemap or we can say yoast seo sitemap doesn't support this wildcard urls so we have to change the plugin or we have to set the new plugin so here's the wildcard subdomain uh, sorry plugin setting so you have to click on this activate but first we just integrate the wildcard in our host so as mentioned earlier that we are using hosting or web hosting services because they are very fast so we also recommend using this okay so here are some steps just to set up the wildcard configuration okay login into your cpanel then switch to subdomains and add a subdomain with asterisk okay and you have to point that subdomain towards your domain directory keep this noted you have to point your domain uh, sorry subdomain path to your main domain uh, directory so we are opening our hosting or web hosting panel just login in okay okay so we have to navigate in the subdomains area so before that we go to our cpanel this is hosting rich panel so this is our main domain hrweb.in click on this manage button also you can see that there is a sale going through this valentine days week also you can get 15 percent extra discount not extra but uh, you have we will surely get 15 percent discount if we if you use our coupon code okay so this is our hosting panel so here you can uh, navigate to this subdomains first you need to uh, check the domain directory by visiting this file manager okay so this is the file manager no it's opening mm -hmm. here you can see as this is the main domain so it is located in this public html under slash uh, underscore html folder so <coughs> sorry we have to move back to our hosting panel and click on subdomains so here 
we have to create a new subdomain on this main domain and we have to uh, name it as asterisk or we can say star which is on your number key 8 so here we need to use this public underscore html directory so we have to check this mark and click on create so after that it is created and now we have to move on this xml sitemap uh, plugin new plugin so we will open this this xml sitemap plugin supports the main your our main uh, all post which are uh, categorized or subdomain so we have to check the basic settings of the plugin you can download this plugin by visiting our download link in the description area after that we have to click on save settings and these settings will save in a moment okay that's great now we have to check our main category so here we need to select this news category or if we create new categories then also we need to select these category that new categories from this subdomain settings option okay so this is the plugin which we are talking about it's xml sitemap and google news okay so we are just installing this plugin now we have to activate this okay the plugin is activated so we can get the sitemap link we can directly click on this settings button or tab in the plugin page like it's here it's settings okay so here we can see our xml sitemap we can view this okay let me open this in a new tab so this is a normal xml sitemap which we can use in webmasters different like google webmaster bing webmaster etc okay and also the next sitemap is google news sitemap so we are not using currently using this google sitemap because this website is not listed on google news platform so google news uh, sitemap will appear just after we click on this save changes button okay let me show you first we just activate this here and click on save changes okay so here you can see google news sitemap also activated so as mentioned earlier that we are not going to use this google news sitemap because this website or domain is not listed on google news platform so we are going to remove this and we will keep this only google uh, sorry xml sitemap that's it so now you can create any number of posts just remember that your category will be converted into subdomains like here you have a news category so your uh, url will be like news.hrweb.in which is your domain name and then your post url like slash chandrayaan to update if we open this post first post okay that will be your url so this subdomain name is very important or beneficial factor for seo purpose and google ranking factor so we will discuss this uh, ranking factor later on mm -hmm.